Can I call on someone in the meantime? Yes. Please. Have you looked at the work of the black light power? Yes. Okay. So uh, black light power, right? Black light power and its uh, president Mills have developed this concept of a hydrino, which is a hydrogen atom that sp spins down to uh, a lower orbital. And we're often connected with black light. And the question is, is our process the same as black lights? The answer is not as far as we're, as, as we're concerned. Uh, you know, there may end up being some fundamental physics that connects us, but right now we're coming from two completely different places and we're not talking about hydrogen going to a, a, a lower orbital. Uh, I'm going to exercise moderatorial privilege again and uh, remark that one of the caveats against zero point energy is Excuse me? Turn on your mic, please. One of the caveats from conventional quantum mechanics is raised against zero point energy extraction is that uh, we better not be able to because uh, the zero point fluctuations are characteristic of our particular vacuum state. And if it's possible to extract energy from them, that implies that we're living in a false vacuum, but there is some lower energy, true vacuum state that would be where the excess energy could come from. So if we extract it, we will trigger a collapse to the true vacuum, which would expand the speed of light, uh, annihilating all matter and energy as we know it. Um, do you have any opinions about this uh, theoretical uh, uh, observation? So, so if you're right, uh, we'll have sort of a, I've, I've turned it back on. If you're right, we'll have a quick instant in which we know. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, so is mine off? I, I believe mine's off. Okay. So, uh, as I said, if we know, if, if you're right, we'll know for a, a short instant. Um, and more generally, it's, it's a question of what is vacuum energy, and nobody really knows. Nobody really knows what this zero point energy is. Uh, the stochastic electrodynamic view is a, a more physical view than the uncertainty quantum mechanical view, as you, as you well know. Uh, in the end, we've got a lot to learn still. Uh, John Reed. to determine if the material that the plates are made of will affect the differential between the inside and the outside so that perhaps certain materials of molecular structure or metal, different metals might create a greater differential. Uh, yes. Uh, so the question is, is the nature of the Casimir cavity plates, uh, how does it affect the Casimir force and these uh, uh, <coughs> properties that I'm talking about? And the answer is yes, it depends quite a lot on the Casimir cavity plates. There's been a fair bit of work on it, and in fact, uh, recently one group has shown that you can get a repulsive force as well as an attractive force by changing the conditions of the Casimir cavity. Um, there, there's, this is really a new field. There's a lot that needs to go on. My student who's working on this is going off to a conference specifically on the issue that you're talking about, looking at the Casimir cavity plates and finding out what, how their characteristics affect uh, what's inside, uh, and we don't know yet. Followed. Yeah, how, with the, being an engineer and with a bunch of graduate students at your hand, so to speak, how are you coming on the design of the first test? Uh, so we had a um, DARPA contract, a fairly large contract, uh, to look at this. And uh, we spent a year building Casimir cavities and testing them and so on. In the end of it, we had a few glimmers of hope that maybe this is working. But uh, in retrospect, I think that the approach we took to making Casimir cavities, which there isn't time for me to go into right now, was not reliable and we weren't getting good spacing. We did see these energy bursts that people have talked about. Uh, but there are multiple ways to interpret it. Is it, a, is it a, a zero point energy force or is it perhaps some sort of sparking or something else that's being induced? So we now have a completely different method for making Casimir cavities. We've got this stainless steel chamber uh, very well controlled for doing the testing 
and we'll find out over the next year. It's not an easy experiment to do thoroughly reliably. I'm afraid we're out of time for questions.